All right, guys, welcome back to part two. Uh, today, on this video, we're gonna talk all about main lines and leaders uh, and when to use them and why. If you haven't seen part one about the rods and reels, go back and have a look at that. We're gonna link that down below. Um, but on to the main line. So we'll start with the braids. Um, typically, there's two braids you're gonna look at. There's X4 and X8. X4 is four strands woven together to create the braid. X8 is eight strands woven together to create the braid. So if you have a look here, like your J braid, you've got your X4 and your X8. That is the main difference. Breaking strains between the, the lines is the same. Uh, sometimes X4 can be like fractionally thinner just because it has less fibers and tend to fit a little bit more because it flattens out on the reel. But in general, uh, they're very, very similar. What sets them apart is the X8 is generally a smoother, rounder profile. Uh, it's a bit quieter through the guides, can generally give you better uh, cast performance, and it's just all around a bit nicer to use. So we've got heaps of different lines here. Uh, you've got your, obviously your J-Braid we just had a look at. There's the Major Craft Dangan, uh, Nomad Pandera, uh, and then we have a few more specialist braids like your Varavas Eggy. Now don't let Eggy put you off. It is still a fantastic line for use for brewing. Has multi-color, it's a preference thing, but I've used that line, it's great. Then for all you real finesse guys out there, you've got P.2, P.3, and P.4 in the, the Varavas. Um, some Sunline Castaway. Sunline Castaway is a, a hybrid line. It's got four strands of the high-end PE line and then four strands of polyester. So it has a slightly different feel, but it's beautiful line. It's still nice and smooth uh, and casts beautifully. And then you have down below, you've got the Siglon, which is a fantastic budget option. Really good lines in, P, uh, sorry, in, in four strand and eight strand. And that starts at P.4 and moves through to P.8. Now, when I'm talking about P, PE ratings, that can get a little bit confusing. Uh, generally I like to say as a rule of thumb, uh, say for, P, for example, PE.6, we'll call that a six pound braid diameter. However, when you're looking at a, a high quality line on the shelf, uh, the breaking strain will be far above that. So let's take, what do we got? Let's take this Sunline Castaway, for example. This is a PE.6 and you can see that by the symbol up there. However, it breaks at 10 pound. So if you went to the shop and you wanted to buy a six pound braid and you went for a high end braid, it's gonna be really, really thin. And chances are it's gonna give you trouble with casting through the guides on the, on the heavier rods. Um, so the best way to buy these braids is by PE rating. And on a lot of the reels, like the ones we talked about before, um, they have a PE rating on there of how many meters they hold. For example, the, the 2500 shallows generally rated at 200 meters of PE.6, although I find 150 meters tends to fit them perfectly because you don't want to be really overspooled with this kind of line. Um, when you're looking at that braid, I say the, the higher the breaking strain for the lower PE is generally a good indication of quarterly line um, and an easy one to see when you're looking on the shelf. There are other things to look for, but on the shelf, uh, like this Varavas Eggy, you can see at P.8, which we'd call an eight pound diameter, it's breaking at max breaking strain at 16.7, which is insane. So really you need to buy your line off of the diameter, not off the breaking strain, because if you're fishing brim gear, even with a lock drag, you're not breaking 16 pounds a line. So moving on from the braids, we'll have a look at our fluorocarbon main lines or spinning fluoros. So spinning fluoro is a bit of a niche, um, but it can be really, really effective, especially when the bite is tough, the fish are shut down, it's sunny, it's still, the water's really clear and you just, you know, you can see the fish are there, but they're not biting. So having the fluorocarbon all the way through your reel, when you're casting, there's no shadow cast across the water from the braid and the knot. Um, it's very subtle, uh, it's very thin uh, and very uh, sort of finesse approach. The fish can't see it. Uh, it is a little bit different fishing it. It's kind of like fishing on a big elastic band or a big bungee cord. Um, there's a lot of stretch and typically we'll pair this up with uh, one of those softer rods like those blue in feet uh, to help really help keep treble lures in. You know, this is great for throwing hard bodies across the flats. Like this little, we'll show you in the next video, but some of the dial cranks and a few other things uh, across flats uh, and really using that finesse bite. Um, you've got the Sunline FC Sniper and the Daiwa J-Thread. Uh, both are very good lines. Um, with the spinning fluoro, there's, there's a few out there, um, but because they're quite a niche, uh, some of them aren't as good as others. Um, the ones we've got here have been tested and they are by, by our staff and they are a good line to use. Moving on to your leaders. Uh, we have the new Crosslink up the top there. So this is a new one from Daiwa, supposedly a little bit thinner for its breaking strain. 
Um, I've had it out of the packet, haven't had a chance to use it yet, but it is quite a nice feeling fluorocarbon. Uh, that comes in everything from four through to 10 here on the shelf. Um, and yeah, really nice line, comes with a little line keeper on there and um, it's not, uh, not too expensive per meter. Uh, the next one down, which is a personal favorite of mine, is the Yamatoyo Chinu Harris. Um, so it's, it's got the P, uh, sorry, it's got the pound rating on there, but it also has a PE rating, which is great. So you know the diameter and this goes in one pound increment. So it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 10. Um, really nice leader. It's a little bit harder coating than some other ones. So it is a true leader material. And I should mention that is kind of one of the things that sets apart just buying your, your leader material from your spinning fluoro is uh, your, your leader material generally has a harder coating, uh, it's a little bit stiffer and more abrasive resistance where your spinning fluoro is quite soft. So you can't substitute one or the other, or you can, but I wouldn't recommend substituting one or the other, you'll give yourself a headache. Um, and then the last leader I'll talk about down there is the Varavas Light Game, um, and that comes in four, six, and eight, and it's a really nice quality leader again. All this stuff we talked about, it's all made in Japan, um, really high quality gear, um, and you're not gonna go too wrong. So that's the end of our, our quick little segment on uh, line and leader. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and in the next video, we're gonna talk about the fun one, which is all the lures and the terminals that go with it and, and uh, all the cool bits and pieces. So yeah, stick around, and we'll see you in the next one.